Hello there. This is the family doctor. This is Dr. Adams. Uh, ring my house for me, will you? Thanks. Mm-hmm. Hello, Lou. This is Grant. Yeah. Yes, I was just leaving the office, and I wondered if there was anything you wanted me to bring home. Groceries? All right, honey. I'll drop into Bliss's on my way. What do you want? Pencil. Oh, I can remember. I... Hmm? Oh, I don't think I can. Huh? Well, just a second. Let me see. Mm. Oh, oh, <laughs> here's a pencil. Now go ahead. Lettuce, celery, tomatoes. What? Oh, eggs. <laughs> Sounds like a picnic. <laughs> what was that? Ant paste. Huh? Still sounds like a picnic. <laughs> uh, all right, Lou. All right, I'm paying attention. And what's that? Oh, soap. All right. Is that all? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, about 20 minutes? All right, honey. Hmm? Oh, all right. I'll tell Dunk to tell his mother. Yeah, all right. Goodbye. Ah, Let me see if I can remember. (laughs) I couldn't find the pencil, but I couldn't let Lou know that. Lettuce, celery, tomatoes, eggs, uh... Ant paste and soap. <laughs> I can remember that easy enough. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Bliss. Take that order up to Maynard? Why, yes, sir. Did you pay for it? Yes, sir. I put the money in the cash register and rang it up. All right. You can go along home, then. I'll close up the store. I'm going to write a couple of... What'd you say, Mr. Bliss? I didn't hear you. My stars. What was that? Oh, I just dropped this cracker box. Well, whew. I thought the roof had fell in. Uh, oh, hello, Doc Adams. Oh, yeah. Howdy, Rip. Well, hello, Dunk. Well, hello, Doctor. Well, I've got to get some things for Mrs. Adams, Rip. Haven't closed up yet, have you? Not when I can still sell a bill of goods. <laughs> Dunk, you fill the order. What do you have? Well, well, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, celery. Well, how many bunches, Doctor? How many bunches? Well, uh, Mrs. Adams didn't say. Oh, uh, about half a dozen, I guess. Mm, all right. What else? What else? Mm. Uh, Oh, ant paste. Ant paste? Yeah. Well, uh, how many bottles? Hmm. Well, uh, how many do you usually sell at once? Well, now, when some folks are having trouble with ants, they generally stock up on uh, ant paste or powder or something. They do, eh? Huh? Well, Mrs. Adams must be having trouble or she wouldn't have told me to get ant paste. Well, give me a half a dozen bottles, Dunk. All right. What else? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> You know, I had all that right in my mind when I left the office. Maybe you should have uh, read it down. Uh, well, maybe I should. But I couldn't find a pencil. Half a dozen pencils, Dunks. Yeah. Okay. Anything yeah. else? Um, well, it seems to me there was something. Oh, yeah, soap. 
Soap. What kind? Face, laundry, chips, liquid, or harness. Well, uh, Mrs. Adams didn't say what kind. Oh, I, I suppose just ordinary soap. You better give me half a dozen cakes of toilet soap and half a dozen cakes of laundry soap, Dunk. All right. Well, I hear you're going to run for mayor of Cedarton, Rip. Yeah. Well, I did think something about it. Amos Day was up the other evening, and he said he'd support me in the post Dougal if I'd run against Mayor Tobert. He did, eh? Yeah. Well, Amos Day back of you. Anything yeah. else, Dr. Adams? I got all that stuff. Hmm? Oh, oh, anything else? Uh, well, what have you got there now? Celery, ant paste, soap, and pencils. Well, uh... Oh, I see some lettuce over there. That's it. Lettuce and tomatoes. Gosh, to Friday, I'm glad I saw that. Oh, how many of each, Doctor? Oh, half a dozen, I guess. And tomatoes are sold by the pound, Doc, not each for each. Oh, by the pound, eh? Well, uh... Half a dozen pounds, Doctor? Yeah, yeah, I guess that'll be enough. You must be having quite a party up at your place, Doc. Party? Oh, I don't know anything about that. Mrs. Adams didn't say so. Yeah, uh, I think I will file for the job of mayor, Doc. I've been living in Cedarton now about uh, 20 years. And I reckon I know enough about the town to run it. I ain't done so bad with my own business, you know. Oh, you haven't, Rip. Uh, will you, uh, will you support me, Doc Adams? Well, uh, I guess it's a little early to decide about that, Rip. And I, I, I'm never the kind of man who tells anyone, least of all the candidates, who he's going to vote for. Yeah, uh, of course, I understand. But I will say this. I'm mighty glad you're going to run for mayor. <laughs> well, your order's already, Dr. Adams. Oh, thank you, Dunk. I put it in the carton for you. Yeah, that's fine. Well, Rip, I wish you a lot of luck in the coming campaign. Uh, thank you, Doc. I reckon I'll probably need it. <laughs> oh, oh, Doctor. Yes, Dunk? Are you going in my direction? If you are, can I ride along with you? You're through with me, aren't you, Mr. Bliss? Oh, yeah, you run right along if Doc Adams can take you. Why, sure. Come along, Dunk. Good night, Mayor Bliss. Oh, now quit kidding me, Doc. <laughs> I'll carry the box for you. Oh, thanks, Doc. Yeah. Uh, just put it in the back seat there. Well, Dunk, you've got a fine man for a boss. I know it, Doctor, and I've got you to thank for it. Hmm? Oh. Well, yes, I have. If you hadn't knocked some sense into my dumb head when I started stealing your car that night, I'd have probably been back in the reformatory right now. Mm. How do you like your job, Dunk? Fine. Only, well, someday I'm going to try to go to college so as I can fit myself for something better. Well, yeah, that's the spirit. Uh, say, Doctor. Uh, y- yes? Did you think I lived this way? Well, yes. Don't you? Gee, No. Mon, I've moved. Since Dad died, we don't need such a big house. And so he moved out about two miles on the Dunlap Road. Well, I didn't know that. But, gee, if it's going to take you out of your way, well... Oh, not at all, Dunk. It's perfectly all right. What do you think you're going to want to take up in college? Well, you may think this to be funny, but... Well, I want to be a doctor. Is that so? Well, Dr. Duncan Webb... That's great. Just great. Yeah. If being a doctor makes people be like you, then well, that's what I want to be. Expecting somebody else? <laughs> Grant Adams, do you know what time it is? Why, honey, you've got a clock there in the kitchen. I know what time it is, but do you know? No, why? Well, honey, here are your groceries. Well, what do you think I'm going to do with them at 7.30 at night? 7.30? That's what time it is right now. Oh, well, I didn't know it was so late. Yeah. Well... There they are, anyway, honey. Don't you think I'm entitled to know where you've been, Grant? Why, certainly, Lou, if you think it makes any difference. I drove Dunk Webb down to his home, and while I was there, I thought I might as well give Mrs. Webb your message myself. I guess we got to talking a little bit. Grant Adams, do you realize dinner's been waiting for an hour and a half? 
that at 5.30, two hours ago, you told me over the phone that you'd be home in 20 minutes? Well, yes, I know, Lou, but I... I had a chance to talk to Dunk and his mother a little bit about the boy's future. Oh, well, I... anyway, you're home now. I'll get dinner on right away. I guess we'll have to do without a salad tonight. Goodness gracious. What's the matter? Look at these tomatoes. Well, what's the matter with them? They look all right to me. How many did you get, Grant? How many? Well, Rip Place said they didn't sell them by the tomato, but by the pound. Well, how many pounds did you get? Six. Six pounds of tomatoes. And the celery. Six bunches. And ant paste. Six bottles of ant paste. What in the world were you thinking of, Grant Adams? And six heads of lettuce. Oh. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, Lou. Did I uh, get too much of everything? Grant, where are the eggs? Eggs. Oh, gosh, to Friday. I knew I'd forget something. Well, didn't you write down what I asked you to get? Well, you, you see, honey, I... I didn't have a pencil at the office, but uh, I was pretty sure I could remember what you wanted. Well, after this, I'll know better. Six pounds of tomatoes. Six pounds of tomatoes. Six bunches of uh, celery. Lou? Yes, Grant? I've got a tonsillectomy scheduled for tomorrow morning at ten. I wonder if you'd like to come over and do it for me. What? I say, would you like to come over and perform an operation instead of me tomorrow morning? Now, what in the world are you talking about? Well, you expect me to be able to run the house and know all about ordering groceries and things like that? Why shouldn't you know how to perform a surgical operation? Oh, oh Grand Adams, you old duffer, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, now, let's, let's kiss and make up. What no, do you Grant. say, huh? No, no, not now. No, no. I've got my hands full of the no, now, Grant. <laughs> no, now, stop it, you old rest oh, All right, honey. All right. We've had a good laugh. And now that our digestive apparatus is in good working order again, let's have dinner. is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Oh, 